the most detestable male in the October Star series. None should oppose. He saw his beloved woman torn apart by humans. Her head burst with a gunshot in front of all. He smashed her head and clothes. What did the girl do to cause this tragic outcome? Initially, the gods created humans, then created the witch clan. The deity transferred power to the witch and instructed her to guide powerless humans. But as time progressed, humans feared witches' abilities and used technology to eradicate the witch clan. Over time, witches nearly wiped out by humans. In story's start, male lead adopted by Croy, last witch. The two have been fleeing from humans. Even if they escape to a distant desert, humans can still find them. Croea is a senior witch, so ordinary humans cannot harm her. After handling the humans, the male lead and Kwa kept moving. But little did they know, a large halo suddenly enveloped them. New human tech, teleportation, male lead and Croa teleported to central square of human land using this invention. In front of two people are countless audiences and the king of modern humans. To protect the male protagonist, Croy used magic, but human technology caused Croy's magic to fail. Croy, who can't use magic, is like a lamb slaughtered now. Just because I'm a witch, I have to endure such humiliation. The protagonist crawled angrily to Kroger. The king ordered his men to kill him. Kwa told the king the protagonist was his slave and a human. He asked the king to release him, as he no longer cared about himself. The king's sword felled Croy in one strike. The soldier cut off Kwa's head with a bonus. The protagonist's voice pierces the air like a tempest. Pain and despair pierce the heart like a knife. The sound pierces through as if the heavens and the earth are torn apart. It's a sound that evokes pain and anger. Male protagonist begins revenge journey after 10 years in Empire's Slave Adoption Center. Pink-haired girl and purple-haired girl. Next second, guard asked prisoner number 218 to step forward. Pink-haired girl Daroka snatched Anna's sign and stood in for her. The girl taken out earlier didn't return safely. Daroka was brought before the warden. On the warden's arrival, he told her to undress. Daroka bit the warden and took the warden's car. 